Hi, this is Gary at Garage Monkey Salon. This is a first video in a series where I take a discarded microwave and make projects out of them. I'd like to dedicate this video to the guys at Reclaimed Audio Podcast. Tim, Phil, and Bill have been podcasting for six years. They've decided to end their podcast and I'm wishing them the best of luck. So this project is super simple. I'm just taking the motor out of the microwave and turning it into a turntable. I've always wanted a turntable to show off my projects and this is a perfect way to make one. So here I made a boo-boo and dropped the panel that I just cut. It was a glue up and all I did is re-glued it back together. Of course you've seen cutting before and you've seen glue ups before and you've seen a pin nailer before. Basically this is just a box and you've seen a chop saw before. So in some of these shots you'll see a smaller round disc that I bought at the store. I found that this disc was too small so I basically made a new one. And this is just an old Asian guy trying to jump. Of course you've seen sanding before. And you've seen painting before. And finishing. Ooh, smooth. So originally I thought I'd use some thin hardboard for the bottom, but decided, hey, I could use the metal out of the microwave. So I cut out the back of the microwave and hammered it as flat as I could, which wasn't very flat. Of course you've seen painting before. This is literally me waiting for paint to dry. Decided to flush fit this little metal panel that I made that fits the switch and the power supply cord strain relief. So this is all the parts for the final assembly. So when you attach the Lazy Susan, you have to drill an access hole so that you could screw on the opposite side of the Lazy Susan. You can see that little blue part is the platter coupler that I designed and 3D printed. Here I'm using the access hole to attach the platter. The cool thing about these motors is that some of them are bi-directional. Mmm, the reveal shots. Look at that detail. Again, thanks to Tim, Phil, and Bill for six years of podcast entertainment. Thanks for watching. See you next video.